Yo, what's up, guys? It's the MMA Analyst here to give you my picks for UFC 147. Um, going to be an exciting card, I'm, I'm pretty sure. One thing we know about going to Brazil is, you know, we're going to be filled with Brazilians. And Brazilians like to fight. They don't like to wrestle. You know, they like to submit and knock people out. They like to be aggressive. And you're going to see a lot of that. So let's start with the main event. Vanderlei Silva versus Rich Franklin. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to go with Rich Franklin here. Let's just get that out of the way. Vanderlei Silva clearly still has knockout power. And, um, you know, he's he, he's kind of been Mr. Hook'em. You know, just moving in aggressive. In his last fight, he did have a little bit of restraint. Uh, but still, you know, found himself in some problems with... Uh, with Kung Lee. Came back. Got a nice win. You know. That was dope. That was nice. Nice to see. Um, but I think Rich Franklin is going to be able to avoid the knockout punch. Because that's basically what he has to watch out for. Um, I think he's going to be able to avoid the knockout punch. I think he's going to be able to. Um, you know. Jab. Move. All that good stuff. Um, you know, they already fought. It was a unanimous decision win for Rich Franklin. And I kind of see the same thing happening here. As long as Vanderlei Silva doesn't catch Rich Franklin with, you know, that shoot box fury and that power in his fists, I see Rich Franklin getting out of this, you know, getting out of this with the win. Um... You know, if, if they grapple, if, if there's a reason for Rich Franklin to, you know, push Vanderlei up against the cage, I see him maybe having the strength of the advantage there. Um, I don't see this really going to the ground much. Um, but, I mean, at the end of the day, I think it's just to be on the feet. Vanderlei Silva moving forward. Rich Franklin moving side to side. And, uh, you know, Vanderlei getting tired. Uh, and just not being able to, you know, keep that high level of intensity that he might start out the fight with. I do see Rich Franklin, um, I don't know if I said winning by decision, but um, there's a possibility, I think, of Vanderlei getting tired. But I don't see really Rich Franklin stepping it up and saying, all right, let's knock him out. I see him still recognizing the danger that is Vanderlei Silva. And uh, just kind of keeping his distance and, and getting that decision win. So my uh, pick is for Rich Franklin, as I said very early. And I think it will be a decision. Next, uh, Cesar Ferreira versus Sergio Marias. Uh Basically, this is a you know, grappler versus striker. Uh, versus striker. Marias, crazy on the ground. Uh, Ferreira, he doesn't really want to go there. Um... I don't see Ferreira um, getting taken down. If he does, and maybe let's say let's say Marias uh, ends up on top, then uh, that's uh, that's probably lights out. He's getting he's getting armbarred, choked, something. But uh, I don't see Marias actually getting the fight to the ground. Um, I don't see him locking up that takedown that he needs to get. And uh, I see uh, Ferreira. Basically outstriking Marias. Um, I'm gonna probably go with uh, first or second round. First or second round TKO makes sense to me for uh, Cesar Ferreira. All right, next fight: Hani Bezeja versus uh, Godofredo Pepe. Um, basically, I'm gonna go with Bezeja here. I think he's gonna just be more aggressive. Um, both of these guys are pretty well rounded, but I think uh, if this fight, uh, you know, on the feet, I think Bezea has the advantage. I think on the ground he has the advantage, and if this does go to the ground, I have Bezea, who I believe is a black belt under Noguera, um, submitting um, Pepe, who is uh, was he Nova Uniao type dude. Anyways, doesn't really mean anything, but I'm just saying. Um, so yeah. I'm going to go with uh, Bezea to uh, to get the submission. 
Mike Russo versus Fabrizio Verdun. I guess that's the time for Russo to lose. Um, this is my dude. You know, my favorite. This is my favorite fighter. On one of the craziest streaks in heavyweight history. Now, I mean, in all honesty, it's funny as hell, though. Obviously, he's not my favorite fighter. He's not even anywhere near. But he is known for, you know, having the knockout of the night against Todd Duffy, where he was just getting destroyed, um, and then just came back with the most vicious hammer fist of all time. Just just violent. I'm surprised that the Athletic Commission didn't basically give him a lifetime ban, because, I mean, if you've never seen this fight, you need to... I don't even know. Don't even really look, though, because... It's very, very troubling. You know what I mean? Like, you see this kind of violence. You know what I mean? Like, you see this kind of violence and it's just, you know, like, you know, either either there's no God or there is a God and you, and you draw near to him when you see the kind of violence that Mike Russell put on Todd Duffy in the closing moments of that fight. So don't really look at that. If you have seen it, you know, uh, it's a damn shame. So I got to say, it's a damn shame that they allow Mike Russell to still fight after what he did to Todd Duffy with those hammer fists. Anyways, Todd Duffy's never been the same. Mike Russell went on to then beat John Madsen and John Olaf Einemo. Uh, 15 wins, one loss, one uh, no contest. His only loss is to uh, Sergi, uh, Sergi Kar- Karatanov back in 2007. Um, you know, he's got a win over Clay Guida's older brother. Damn, son. You got winning, beating Guida's? That's tough. Anyways, all joking aside, he's going to get beat. Um... If he doesn't lose to Verdum, oh man, that's crazy. But I don't even see how he can't how he can win. Uh, Verdum's striking's better. If he gets taken down, his jujitsu is out of control. Um, yeah, man, this is just basically Verdum taking out back to back fat heavyweights. You know, first Hoy, Hoy Nelson. I mean, I'll give him his Brazilian name, Hoy Nelson, and then. Um, and then after that, you got my boy, Mike Russo. So I have Verdun winning this any way he wants. If he's aggressive enough, he'll win with strikes. Although Russo can take a beating. He can take a beating. Um, so if this stays on the feet, you know, maybe he gets leg kicked to death. I don't know. But Fabrice or Verdun's winning this. And then I've got um, Yuri Alcant- Yeah, again, you know, rest in peace to Todd Duffy. And, you know, like I said, like if the athletic commission isn't going to do something about it, then Dana should do something about it. You know, don't let this kind of violence, you know, don't let it in. You know, I know it's the UFC, it's fighting, but there's a difference between fighting and what Mike Russell did in that fight with them hammer fists. Anyways, Yuri Alcantara, um, Hakron Diaz. Um, I got to go with Yuri Alcantara. Just pretty sure he's just going to be all around. Uh, better fighter. Um, it should be, I mean, probably going to be a close fight, but I think Alcantara just edges him everywhere. Um, I see it probably going to a decision. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to go with. All right, and on the undercard, I've got Rodrigo Dam, Delson Heleno, Hugo Viana, uh, Perpetuo, um, Pansini, and Felipe Arantes. So there you go. MMA, it's important. Peace.